Hello, music theory scholars. So in this video, we're going to talk about learning to hear chord progressions. So this is an introductory video. So if you're brand new to hearing, to listening for chords, that's fine. We're going to start right here at the top with just listening for tonic and dominant chords. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't play an instrument that plays chords, like a piano or a guitar, this might not be something you're used to listening for. And so it can be kind of intimidating at first when you start doing some chord dictation. So we'll talk about some strategies for learning to hear changes in chords, um, and also learning to identify the difference between tonic and dominant chords and even the subdominant. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to show you a method um, that's just going to allow you to kind of experiment with this and get it in your ears before you try out your homework assignment. Um, so this is a website called chordchord.com. That's it, just chordchord.com. If you want to plug that in, you can experiment with me, right along with me. Um, and it's kind of a neat website because um, it allows you just to plug in your own four chord progression, and then it will just repeat it for you. So you don't have to worry about trying to play something while you're listening for the chords. Um, you can just set it to repeat, and it'll keep going. You can change the tempo. You can even have it add a little bit of, um, you know, some repetitions to make it sound a little bit more musical or add a drum beat. It's kind of a fun site. Um, it's a nice way to experiment with different chord progressions. Um, but I think it's a nice way to get going just to learn to practice listening and for and singing along with a, a bass line and different chord tones while we're listening to the progressions. Um, so it's set up with lead sheets. Um, so you see the chord symbol C instead of a one or a five chord. So you can think in any key you'd like. I'm just going to set this up in C. And so I'm just going to start by just listening for one and five chords. So I'm going to put in C as my first chord. If you click the little customize icon here, you'll see it'll pop up. And so you're going to need to pick the right note and then make sure you pick the right quality. So if we're in C, we need a C major chord for the one chord. My five chord then will be a G major chord. So I need to select G and then major and so forth for the other two. And this will give me a chord progression that's just going to be one, five, one, five. So just so you can hear what it sounds like. speed it up if we want. And then if you want to add something a little more interesting to it, we can, right? Or you can add a drum beat if you want. Just to kind of learn to hear the changes between the chords. But for right now, I'm going to disable both of those just so we can really focus on just the block chord itself and even slow it down just a little bit. So once you've kind of got a sense for what it sounds like, what I want you to try to focus on is trying to hear the bass line. So in the one chord, we've got a piano up here to even kind of guide us. I'm trying to hear C in the bass. So I'm listening for this note here. And then when it goes to the five chord, I'm listening for G in the bass. So I'm gonna play the progression and see if I can pull those notes out of the bass line. So here I should be hearing. Can you hear it? So try to listen to it until you can kind of start to pull that bass line out. And I know the piano is up an octave, it's a little higher, but see if you can try to pull it out of the bass line. And once you think you can feel, you feel fairly comfortable with that, you might try to listen for some of the other chord tones that are in the that are in the chord. And that's also going to help you differentiate between them. So if you can hear the bass line first off, you're you're set to go, right? Because if you hear five in the bass, you know, or soul in the bass, you know it's a five chord. If you hear one in the bass, you know it's the one chord. So that'll help you with your chord dictation. But if you can hear upper voices, that's also going to be really helpful. The, the one chord is going to sound real stable. Um, it's built up out of do, mi, and soul. All nice stable tones. But the five chord, this has two really nice strong tendency tones. So when you listen to it, you're going to hear the, the T in the chord, and you're also going to hear Re. And both of those are going to sound like they want to resolve down to Do. So when you listen to the progression, see if you can pull those two tones out. So maybe start by listening for T, see if you can hear it, and then resolve it to Do, T to Do, and try to sing it as you're listening to the progression so you can pull it out. Let's, let's try, listen to the progression again. So here's my Do. Here's Do. And 
once you think you've got that, see if you can find Re instead. So what we're listening for is somewhere in the chord, the Do, and then the five chord's gonna have Re in it somewhere. See if you can hear wanting to resolve back down to Do. Here's the progression again. Here's your Do. And try to sing it until you can hear those different pitches somewhere in the chord. So if you're doing an example and maybe you're having a hard time hearing the bass line, if you can pick out any of those upper notes in the chord anywhere, maybe if you're lucky they'll be in the melody or you'll hear them in an inner voice somewhere, that's also gonna, gonna tell you that you've got a dominant chord. Or even just sort of generally speaking, if you can hear a tonic chord, it's gonna sound like it's resolved, the dominant's gonna sound like it's got tension or it's away and then it's going to feel like it resolves back down again. So sort of generally speaking, it's going to have this kind of feeling of push and pull to the progression. So you can also try to focus in on that. So experiment with it a bit. And you know, and add a drum beat and so forth. Just make it fun until you can really feel the progression. When you'd want to try adding the 5-7 to it, what you're going to need to do is just click the customize button. And the 7 right here, this is the the lead sheet symbol for a dominant seventh chord. So it's not the major or the minor, it just you're just gonna add the seventh to it, and that's your dominant seven. And so we can just add that to both of these if we'd like, or just one of them, and so that you've got a bit of variety, and just play it again. And And what you're listening for here with the dominant seventh chord is you're gonna hear somewhere in the chord, you're gonna hear a seventh. So it's gonna have this dissonance, or if the chord, you know, depending on how it's voiced, a second in the chord. So if you can hear that dissonance in the chord, that tells you that it's the five, seven, and up to the five. But also, if you can pull out the other chord tones, so the five, seven's got fa in it, or scale degree four, and that's gonna sound like it wants to resolve down to sol. So you're listening for this, there's your fa, and it's gonna sound like it wants to go. See if you can hear that, see if you can hear that scale degree. Right, you get it? And maybe you add in the five here and you just kind of practice going back and forth hearing the difference between those two chords. And then, you know, when you want to go to minor, all you're going to need to do is change the C major chord to a C minor chord. Um, just so that you can practice hearing the same progression in minor. And you can do the same thing, five or five, five or five, seven. Um, and then when you're ready to add in the four chord, once you think you've got one and five, if we're in the key of C major, we're going to need an F chord, and so maybe we put in a nice one, four, five. One progression. So something like this, this will do it. Oh, not C minor though, we need C major. So for hearing four, now instead of listening for sol in the bass, or five in the bass, we're listening for four in the bass, or fa. So in the bass line, I should be hearing So see if you can pull that out. I'll play the progression. Do you listen? it up. You can try other kinds of progressions with 1, 4, and 5, or 1, 4, and 5, 7, 1. I'd encourage you just to experiment. Just play with it, you know, and, and make it fun and try singing along, maybe try improvising with it until you really get the sounds of these progressions in your ears. And then go to musician, go to Aurelia, and see if you can do it there. But spend a little time with it first on your own, uh, experimenting in whatever way you need to until you can, you know, you can hear these progressions. Try a couple different keys, maybe. All right, so I hope that helps. So this, the name of this website, again, is just chordchord.com. That's it. So give it a shot. Good luck with your chord dictation.